Defensive midfielders are the unsung heroes of any side. Those who put in the hard yards without craving the spotlight, they are a manager's dream. Of course, football is a ever-evolving sport and the defensive midfielder is no longer pigeonholed into one position. A Carolero or Shuttler is one such form and has played and will continue to play one of the most crucial roles in some of the most important tactical setups in the game. The role, in essence, is a less glamorous, more defensive-minded box-to-box midfielder with a heavier emphasis on lateral movement rather than traditional vertical runs. They do the dirty work of breaking up play and covering areas vacated by their more attacking teammates. What separates them from an outright central defensive midfielder is their ability to move into the wide areas and defend the flanks rather than simply parking in front of the back line. N'Golo Kante, Alan, Rodri, Fabinho and Calvin Phillips are all fine examples of Carrileros in the Premier League today. And later in this video, we'll look at how some of them function for their respective clubs. But for now, let's take a look at how you can utilise a Carrilero on Football Manager using a full tactical breakdown. Football Manager states that the Carrilero or Shuttler is a supporting role, more often than not utilised as part of a midfield three or as a two central midfielders in a diamond midfield. It is the job of these Shuttlers to cover lateral areas of the pitch and link the defensive minded area with the attacking midfield area. This is what separates the Carrileros from a box-to-box -box midfielder as they are not expected to shuttle between boxes but merely between the lines of the midfield. There are also a number of attributes that Football Manager recommends that you look for in a player if you're wanting to play them in the Carrilero role. The ones highlighted in green are the primary attributes and the ones highlighted in blue are your secondary attributes. The primary ones in the technical area are first touch, passing and tackling. Your primary ones in the mental attributes are decisions, positioning and teamwork and your primary physical attribute is stamina. Your secondary ones include technique, anticipation, composure, concentration, off the ball, vision and work rate. As you can see by those attributes, a Carolero is required to be strong mentally, the work rate and positioning in particular to make sure the players are in the right area of the pitch at all times covering the correct areas. The Carolero also only has one preset player instruction which is to stay wider. This means you can add specific player instructions to make the role a little bit more suitable for your own tactic. Talking of tactics, as we stated earlier, Football Manager recommends that you use the Carrilero as part of a midfield two in a diamond formation or a midfield three. In a 4-4-2 diamond or a 4-1-2-1-2, you can use the Carrilero either on the left hand side or the right hand side. You can even use two Carrileros in the middle there too. Using two Carrileros, especially in this formation, means that the two midfielders can drift wide. As you've got no wingers, there should be a lot of space in the wide areas, but then you've still got your defensive midfielder to hold the position in the middle and make sure there is an option centrally. It's a very similar idea if you went with a midfield three as well. The Carrilero will drift out wide, but you've still got at least one other midfielder there to support defensively. But I wouldn't say you're just restricted to using narrow formations. For argument's sake, if you had two wide men, I'd probably put the Carrilero on the side of maybe an inside forward for argument's sake. As the inside forward's going to be drifting infield, obviously there's going to be a little bit more room in the wide areas which the Carrilero can move into. I've been using a Carrilero on one of my own Football Manager saves in recent days and I've got a very quick uh, heat map and pass map from one of the games. As you can see here, I used the Carrilero as a left central midfielder in a 4-3-3 formation and as you can see, a lot of the passes seem to be towards the left hand side and a lot on the left wing as well, as you can see very faintly from his heat map uh, just behind the passes too. But now we're going to be looking at some real life examples and there are two prime examples of Premier League Carrileros that we'll look at today. And one of those is of course N'Golo Kante, often referred to as the lungs of Chelsea. Kante is a player who has emerged from the shadow of Claude Makélélé, as someone once considered a pure midfielder destroyer to becoming an all action number 8 who has made the position his own. Defensively though, he remains one of the best in the business, if not the best. And that was showcased in Chelsea's Champions League winning campaign in 2020-2021. The Frenchman won possession more times in the middle third than any other Chelsea player and the third most in the tournament overall. From his events map in the competition, you can see that most of his defensive actions, which we're defining here as ball recoveries, blocked passes, interceptions and tackles, were done in a wider area of the pitch. A Carrilero, as we know, is tasked with drifting into those wider defensive channels to cover attacking teammates, which in Thomas Tuchel's system is predominantly the wingbacks. 
Reese James has the luxury to surge forward, as Kante is usually there to mop up if things go wrong. No wonder the England defender once described Kante as like three players in one. His defensive actions area map, which calculates the main space where most of his defensive work is carried out, paints a similar picture, as Kante drifts away from that central area and covers the flanks. Given Tuchel adopts a press and possess style, it's no surprise to see Kante also pushing high up the pitch as well, congesting the space and really ramping up the pressure on the opposition when out of possession. Fabinho is another player who is essential to the way a German counter-pressing coach sets out his stall. Jurgen Klopp's heavy metal football can only function if he has a calming, intelligent presence to sweep up and cover the attacking onslaughts carried out by Sadio Mane, Mohamed Salah, Trent Alexander-Arnold and co. You can see from Fabinho's events map in the Premier League and Champions League combined since he joined Liverpool with those same defensive metrics in place that he shuttles across the defensive midfield line putting out fires. His number of defensive actions on the right of that CDM line are identical to those centrally showing just how often he drifts wide to cover Alexander-Arnold. If you needed an indication of why Trent is so devastating going forward then look no further than Fabinho's event maps here. His covering facilitates the fullback's attacking menace. His defensive actions on the left aren't too far behind either, so Andy Robertson can also thank Fabinho for allowing him freedom to get up the turf. You could possibly describe his movement as almost crab-like, given the way he shifts from the one side of the pitch to the other, and well, judging by his heat map, he seems determined to live up to that profile. As a shuttling Carrillero, Fabinho is perfecting the role at Anfield. And we'll have a quick look at both Kante and Fabinho in Football Manager. Quickly looking at some of those attributes that we looked at earlier. And Kante is pretty, pretty set for the role. Of course, mentally, like I said earlier, the player has got to be very strong. I think with his work rate, his positioning, his teamwork, Kante is very, very good at this position. And it would work really well in Football Manager. And you would argue Fabinho is as good. Very strong first touch and tackling, which was required. And again, still very strong mentally. A little bit taller as well. Got a little bit more of a presence. I think that Fabinho would be immense in this role if you wanted to play it on Football Manager. We're also going to be looking at a few more examples. Some other players from around Europe. Uh, and maybe one or two more affordable options to play the Carolero role as well. We'll start off with Manchester City's Rodri, and although he's probably not quite as strong technically as the likes of Fabinho, I think mentally he's very strong as well. Physically, um, he's good. I think 25 years of age as well, got a couple of years on the likes of Kante and Fabinho. Carolero role. I mean, to be fair, any sort of defensive-minded role, Rodri is going to be good at. So Carolero role definitely suits his style of play as well. A slightly more affordable option would be Remo Freuler playing for Atalanta over in Italy right now. And again, possesses some really similar qualities and similar attributes. He's probably a little bit more polished and more well-rounded technically, but still got those strong mental attributes such as his teamwork, such as his work rate. Good stamina as well. I think he's going to fill that Carolera role really nicely. And we're going to stick to Italy. We're looking at Giulio Maggiore currently playing for Spezia. Slightly younger but probably a lot cheaper as well. You can see their estimated value at the start of an FM game between two and six million pounds. But yeah, obviously not as good as some of the other players, but very solid throughout. He's a good tackler, good first touch. His work rate and positioning, although it's not as high as some of the others, is still at a really good, strong level. And look, you can work with this guy three or four seasons and he could become probably not quite the level of the players that we've been looking at, but a very, very solid player if you're wanting to play him in a Carolera role. But guys, there we are. I'm hoping that you've learned a little bit more about the Carolero role today. If there are any other players around world football that you think play a very similar style to this, please let us know in the comment section down below. Be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the Squawker YouTube channel, and we'll see you all very, very soon.